Hi, this video is going to tell you how to use negatives in French. Je mange des crêpes. It means I eat crepes. Je ne mange pas de crêpes. It means I don't eat any crêpes. What you'll notice is negatives in French have two parts. Ne and pas in some instances. So the word don't translates as two words in French. You'll also notice that des crêpes becomes de crêpes. If it's followed by des, it just becomes de. But that's an extra point. We can kind of forget that bit. What's really important is this bit in red. Ne and pas, French negatives have two parts. So if you wrote, je n'aime Monsieur Davison, trying to say, I don't like Mr. Davison, that would be wrong. What you should be saying is, je n'aime pas Monsieur Davison, I don't like Mr. Davison. Negatives in French have two parts. The other thing about negatives is, ne and pas are not the only ones that we use. Ne jamais means never. In a sentence, je ne fais jamais mes devoirs. I never do my homework. Ne guerre is another alternative, meaning hardly. Je ne comprends guerre. I hardly understand. Ne plus means no longer. Nous ne regardons plus la série. We no longer watch the series. Ne ni ni is how you say neither or no. Je ne parle ni chinois ni russe. I don't speak Chinese, no Russian. Ne aucun means none at all. So if you look at it in sentence here, je n'ai aucun ami. I don't have any friends at all. And ne and que is a kind of special negative because it means only. It's not really negative in English if we thought about it, but in French it is considered a negative. Ne que. Il ne boit que le weekend. He only drinks at the weekend. Just whilst we're here, it means we can mention this box using negation adds a higher level variety to French writing and speaking, and it scores really well at GCSE. So using something other than nut and pa, remembering its two parts, using these for, uh, sentences as variety, these negatives as variety in your sentence, will score well at GCSE. Je n'écoute jamais la musique de Lil Peep. I never listen to Lil Peep's music. Je n'écoute guère la musique de Lil Peep. I hardly listen to Lil Peep's music. Je n'écoute plus la musique de Lil Peep. I no longer listen to Lil Peep's music. Je n'écoute ni la musique de Lil Peep, ni la musique de Gucci Gang. I listen to neither Lil Peep's music nor Gucci Gang's music. Je n'écoute aucune musique. I don't listen to any music at all. You'll have noticed a spelling change there. That's because it's la musique. It's the only negative that has to change at all. Je n'écoute que la musique de Lil Peep. I only listen to Lil Peep's music. Those sentences, all I did was change those two little words, the part of the negatives, and I came up with lots of different reasons. So if you pay attention and you use your negatives wisely, then you can say loads and loads of different things. Finally, negatives when you have two verbs. Sometimes you have a sentence like j'aime regarder la télé. I like to watch TV. Here you've got two verbs, j'aime, I like, and regarder, to watch. And you need to figure out where do you put your negatives. Je n'aime pas regarder la télé. I don't like to watch TV. Again, what you'll notice, yes, it has two parts, but they go around the first verb. They go around the first verb. Je n'aime pas regarder la télé. And there's loads of examples of that. J'ai regardé la télé. The past tense. There's two parts to the past tense, or three if you include your subject. Two verbs. I liked to watch TV. 
Je n'ai pas regardé la télé. I didn't like to watch TV. Your negative has gone around the first verb, exactly as we saw before in our example. You could change your negative. Je n'ai que regardé la télé. I only watched TV. Je n'ai jamais regardé la télé. I never watched TV. Je n'ai plus regardé la télé. I no longer watched TV. All of these negatives are going around the first verb. That's what you've got to remember. Two parts, and if there's two verbs, it goes around the first. That was my video on how to use negatives in French. Thanks for watching.